I picked up these six galvanized panels from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take each of them and start painting them in Wise Owl Gray Primer. No reason I used the gray, it's what I had on hand. White would work just as well. And I just used a foam brush and went through all of them with one coat of the primer. And this is just going to give me a good surface for adhesion. Once it's all dry, I'm going to take some painter's tape, removing the sixth panel and creating uh, stripes by going from one end to the other and making sure that they line up with one another. And I did this with the two at the top and the three at the bottom. I'm going to take my Republic Red and start to paint in between all the painter's tape on all five of these panels. And I did give this two coats and then remove the tape. You don't really want the paint to dry, you want to remove the tape right away. Once dry, I went back in and blocked off the red stripes and I added our snow owl and this is where if you did the white primer, it would kind of cut out a step because the center, the every other stripes would already be white. But I did have to go in and paint mine white because of the gray primer. And again, I removed the tape and I did this on the five panels. My sixth panel, I'm going to paint in Bowie. And then I'm going to take this stencil, I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to start painting in the stars. And I'm going to start from the top and keep shifting my stencil down till this panel is full with the stars. And allow to dry. Once all my panels were dry, I'm going to take my Lemon Verbanum Salve. This can be used as a top coat. This is by Wise Owl. You can find it at chocolateofancy.com. And I'm going to wipe on and wipe off. And it's just going to give a nice sheen to my paint. It's going to give me a nice top coat. You can also use this on leather shoes, leather in your car. Um, you can use it on your appliances. Some people use it in their hair. And it's made with all essential oils. And once that was all taken care of, I found this window at Walmart. I believe I got it on clearance for $10. Um, but it just fit these panels quite nicely. And I laid them across on the back side. I took this piece of wood from the Dollar Tree, pre-drilled pre some holes, and added some screws at the top. And I put this pretty tight so it would hold down my aluminum panels. And I did this also at the bottom of my window. And now you have the American flag showing through the panes. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateupfancy.com. Thank you so much.